If you would change uh, the genome of an embryo to cure um, life-threatening disease, uh, cystic fibrosis, for people that know that it's the most common genetic uh, disorder, or others that really are um, in, in a way that you can avoid suffering. You could discuss this. This would be within a medical framework, and maybe one day this will happen. But the other thing is you could also change the genome of an embryo to enhance certain characteristics, and that is simply eugenics. You know, this is making better people um, in a way more intelligent or whatever. And this might be science fiction today, but this is absolutely unacceptable. You have to know that this technology is only starting and there is very, very little uh, research on uh, the safety and the long-term effects. This is one reason, a scientific reason, why it is much too early to allow the transfer of an embryo which has been modified and allow a child to be born. And on the other hand, we have, of course, was the framework that the Council of Europe has defined already 20 years ago in the Convention of Oviedo, which is a convention on a lot of bioethical uh, topics, where it is clearly stated that changing the genome in an embryo intentionally to have descendants with a changed uh, uh, heritage, DNA, um, is simply not uh, accepted. We have recommended actually three levels of uh, security to, to, to be sure this would not happen. First of all, the Oviedo Convention. It is clear. This is one of our own instruments. We have to encourage member states to ratify the Oviedo Convention. The second thing is, if they don't want to do that, at least ban, for the time being, absolutely ban a pregnancy of a genetically modified child. That's very clear. And the third thing is, maybe some countries wouldn't want to do that. At least, let's work on an international regulatory and legal framework on this subject to decide what would maybe be acceptable, the strictly medical indications to avoid serious suffering versus uh, eugenics uh, enhancement and so on, which would not be acceptable, just like cloning is not acceptable. This should really be banned by all countries. The Oviedo Convention is clear on that. Research is allowed. Technology will go on. Safety will maybe one day uh, be proven. And in that respect, countries that say, you know, Oviedo, we don't want to ratify. We need to also to guide these countries to avoid the medical tourism that we have been discussing.